All right, uh, this video is for Mehdi El Araki. And um, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you want to really push your anatomy. Um, so the things that I would say, um, let me go green here because that's kind of the, the oddball color out here. Okay, so the first thing that I would say is you really need to push the anatomy. Um, right off the bat, I say that you've got You've got your kind of your torso, and your chest is way too high. Um, you wanna you wanna build the chest downward more. Um, the breast would come down about like so, and then the the neck and the head are okay. Um, I almost make the head a little bit bigger, um, especially. Eh, no, it's about the size. I would just move the face up. I think the the face needs to be kind of adjusted. Um, and then the the shoulders are really broad, which is okay. But what you want to do is you want to build build them shorter, and kind of build them in a little bit more, something like that. Um, so I would take care of that, and then you know watch your form and overlap, um, especially if you want this. This right now feels like it's coming out to the side. Um, so what you want to do instead is you want to build this out forward. Um, more forward and then build out your hand like so like this and you want to build that forward you want to create more overlap um, and then build that a little bit downward like so all right and then when you come down to the pelvis area here um, you you want to block this out and you want it almost wider, which you've got the wide width, but it's uneven. And so you're going to kind of twist that. Like, so if this is the pelvis here, um, then you want to build out the leg. The leg is going to come outward more. And then if you're building it like in a, in a pool of, of water or something like that, you are going to build the knee and it's going to come down and it's going to build outward like this. Whereas this one is going to come outward too. Um, the other thing is the way you've got this, you want to build in contrapposto, which basically means that you want to tilt the shoulder and tilt the hips to kind of match. So in this case, the hips would come here and this would come out and this would squash and you get much more of that sexy curve going on something like that um, and so that's what you want to really build with um, and then the other aspect too is and I'm just gonna kind of start playing with this the the first aspect is the face is too low um, so you want to really kind of move this face upward a little bit more and I would almost transform that a little bit longer elongate it and then deselect. Um, then what I would do is I would trim the shoulders down. So I'm just going to kind of um, filter, liquefy, and let's um, kind of build that in. And then we're going to pull these down and out. something like that and then again pull the shoulders in a little bit more again I'm just playing here it's not perfect but it for what I'm doing here it's fine um, and then uh, like I said before the you know the hips need to be kind of balanced out and I would definitely make them a lot bigger um, so you wanna bring that up and almost Let's uh, kind of elongate something like that. And then you want to, um, oh, I deleted my layer. Um, this doesn't kind of handle very well. So I would transform that over like so. And I think that would be kind of a, a much better 
better idea. And let's just fill in the brush here with that dark color. And then this is really, I would really redo this whole arm here. Um, let me just see if I can salvage it. Um, grab this. Because it just, it's just, it's awkward the way the angle is. Um, let's uh, cut that and then let's just real quick brush this out. And then let's put this back in there and let's transform it. Like so. And then let's build. And I'm not happy with this, so let's. Okay. So then this here creates, you want to create more of that overlap. So you want that darkness in there. And you want to create. And I'm just kind of building up real quick. No, that's something like that. I don't know. You, you'd want to play with it a little bit more, but you get the point. It's it's more overlap, um, and possibly even angled. I think that's what I don't like about it. So let's transform it. You know something something along the lines like that so it's just it's it needs more more transformation a much better silhouette on the hand I would have to look at reference I didn't really pull any up here um, but that that gives you a little bit better and then get rid of this glow um, because the problem you have is you have this such blurry background that you want to keep that consistent Like so, and do you see how by doing that, it really pulls her out from the foreground, and it makes a lot more sense of what you're trying to do. Um, and then again, keep, you know, if you're if you're if you're doing this, then do it in waves, and and blend it together a little bit more so that it feels like it's. It's much more, you know, kind of flowing through the water, that type of thing. And you want to you wanna really take care of that. And probably, again, fix the shoulder. Um, and then make the hands bigger. That's the other thing. Let's make those. So, and this is just my quick paint over. Um, which the hand really needs a lot more work, but it gives you an idea. And you know my thumb is on the wrong side. That's why it's wrong. Um, so let's just fix that real quick. But that's um, basically you wanna you wanna create you wanna create your your idea of your character and kind of build that. And those are the things that I would t really take care of. All right. Hope that helps.